Guess what time is, folks? It's cruise news time! <music> Royal Caribbean's A Law of the Seas is now set for a $100 million upgrade. And this is going to happen in April of 2025. And this upgrade will offer 35 different ways to wine and dine yourself. What I mean by that is restaurants and bars, right? So they're going to have new bars, a new water park, and also some upgrade pool decks. So this is an amazing upgrade that they're going to do. And also, they're making a lot of money. So now you can see they may even start to upgrade some ships every year. If you are going on the Carnival of Sunshine on August 8th out of Charleston, double check all your emails that you got from the cruise line. There's a possibility that your cruise could be delayed maybe a day or two due to the fact of Tropical Storm Debbie. And this beast of a tropical storm is coming up the East Coast. And when I checked at the time of this video, it was around where Georgia was. So right now, obviously, as it goes further up the coast, it's going to break down out of a tropical storm into a tropical depression. And then eventually, it's just going to break up into the storm stats. Those storms are going to hit the northeast coast where I live, which is in New York. So we expect it to get a lot of rain coming up this weekend. And also, anyone who is going on any cruises out there, be prepared that you might have some rough seas due to this storm. So this next story has to be one of the largest migrant rescues I have seen in my entire life. Definitely one of the biggest stories that I have done since I made this YouTube channel. So now here's to the story. In the late evening on Monday, August 5th into Tuesday, August 6th, Royal Caribbean, the Odyssey of the Seas, who was sailing a seven-night Greek island cruise, received a call from the Greek authorities. And this call was that there was an overcrowded sailboat 129 miles southwest of Pylos. And the call was is that there was a sailboat that was in distress, which had 77 migrants on it. I mean, that's a lot of people on a sailboat. And obviously, they were stuck in the middle of the ocean. And now, what they did was, they got over there. They put out some boats to try to get these people off the sailboats. Because usually, you seem to just bring it to the ship. But I guess because there were so many people on there that they had to physically transport them a handful of times onto a little, like, boat that the ship has. And this rescue operation took several hours, right? And now what happened is they were given food, water, medical attention, and when they reached the port of Kalamata, they were handed over to the Greek authority. So this is a good thing that they saved all these people, but sadly, a bad thing did happen. And the bad thing was, the people who paid for this cruise missed the port of Santorini, was canceled due to the fact that they had to rescue all these refugees. 
And you wonder, are uh, refugees common in this area? As we all know, out of the Caribbean, you get a lot of them come from Central and South America. Well, in this area, you get a lot of refugees coming from the Middle East and Africa who are trying to escape the hard life that they have in those countries. So this is very common in this part, but 77 people to be on one sailboat. First of all, it was very dangerous. And second of all, you know what they're doing? They're trying to risk their life for a better life. But thankfully, the cruise ship found them due to the fact of the call. And the reason why the call happened was because a cargo ship spotted them. And the cargo ship notified the Greek authorities. And the Greek authorities, what did they do? They notified Royal Caribbean. Well, thank you all for watching the show today. Just a reminder, this Friday my live is canceled. And I will be back next Friday. And please do not forget. Next Wednesday, we will be doing, on Across the Waves, the Port of San Francisco. So please join in at 8 p.m. Eastern as we will give you a tour of the entire Port of San Francisco. And until next time, everybody, safe travels.